Solve the next problem in the tension member. First, I will read the problem. Remind the tensile strength of the plate 10 mm thick, which is connected to gusset plate using M16 bolts as shown in figure. Figure is given in the problem itself. If the yield and ultimate strength of the steel are 250 MPa and 410 MPa respectively. Even if it is not given also, you can have to consider this, this value. So, they have joined a plate with the gusset plate. The plate size is given as 130 by 12 mm. They, it was connected by using a 4 number of bolts of 16 mm diameter. They have marked the pitch as well as the edge distance as 60 mm. End distance is given as 35 mm. Okay. First, this is the analysis type problem. They asked to find out the tensile strength of the plate. The, the tensile strength of the plate is TD. TD will be the least of TDG, TDN and TDP. TDG is the cross section yielding, net section rupture, block shear failure. These are the three possible failure modes of the tension member. We have to consider all the possible th three failure modes. Least among this will be give the strength of the member. So, this is the analysis type problem. Okay. The diameter of the bolt is given as 16 mm. First, I will calculate the diameter of the hole. The diameter of the hole can be obtained by adding the standard clearance of 2 mm. I got the diameter of the hole as 18 mm. First, I will calculate the design strength due to yielding of the grass section. So, for that, I have to use the expression TDG equal to AG into FOE by gamma m0. This expression is obtained from the class 6.2, page number 32. Let me go to the page, page number 32. So, design strength due to yielding of the cross section, it is equal to AG into FOI by gamma M0. AG is the gross area, FOI is the yield stress of the material that is 250, partial safety vector gamma M0, that value is provided in the table 5, page number 30. Okay. First, AG, gross area of the plate is, width of the plate is 130, thickness is 12, 1560, then yield strength is 250, gamma M0 is 1.1, that value is obtained from table 5, page number 30. Mul multiplying all this thing divided by 1000, got the TDG in terms of kilo Newton as 354.545 kilo Newton. Okay. Next, I will calculate the design strength due to rupture of the critical section. Design strength due to rupture of the critical section. In the code, they have given the two different formulas. If it is a plate means you have to use this formula TDN equal to 0 0.9 AN FU into 1 by gamma M1 from class 6.3.1 page 32. For angles they have given the different formula. So, design strength due to rupture of the critical section for plates I have to use this formula. Okay. Continue this. For threaded rods I have to use this formula. For single angles I have to use this formula. They have provided different formula to calculate the TDN depending upon the member connected. Here it is a plate, so I have to use the equation TDN equal to 0 0.9 AN FU by gamma M1. Okay. So, in this which one is unknown? FU ultimate tensile strength sir that is 410. Then A n net area, how we can get the net area? So, for that we have, we have to refer the figure. In this, they are applying a pulling force between, so the direction of the arrows. They have connected gusset plate and plate. They apply a pull force the plate may be rupture or it fails due to tension at the critical path. Okay. The critical path is here they have provided chain bolting. Already we discussed what the chain bolting, the failure may be along the fasteners line. Along the fasteners lines, how many holes are involved? Two. If you line first line, that also having two bolts. If you consider the second line, that also having two bolts. So, we can calculate for any one line, only any one path. So, where n equal to 2, there is no stagger business and all. Therefore, stagger equal to 0. 
so therefore net area a in equal to b minus n into dh into d b is width of the plate width of the plate given in the problem as 130 number of bolt holes involved in the considered path radius is 2 diameter of the hole is 18 mm thickness of the plate is 12 mm substituting all these things i got the net area as 1128 mm square gamma m1 is 1.25 this value is obtained from the table 5 page number 30 now substitute all the values in the TDN equation 0 0.9 into net area 1128 mm squared into FU ultimate tensile strength of the plate 410 divided by 1.25 I got the value of 332.985 kN already calculated the TDG 354.545 TDN 332.985 next I have to calculate the design strength due to block shear to calculate the block shear they have provided the two equations therefore I have named the two equations as TDP1, TDP2, TDP1, TDP2 both the equations can be obtained from the class 6.4.1 page number 33 let me go to that page, page number 33 ah, for bolted connection block shear strength In the block shear failure the end of the member end of the members having a failure line involving tension in one plane shear in the perpendicular plane along the fastener line see the first formula avg fy by root 3 into gamma m0 0.9 atn fu by gamma m1 the second equation is having 0.9 avn fu if we compare that first term of the first equation and the first term of the second equation, in the they used AVG in the first equation. Here AVN, AVG means gross shear area, gross shear area, AVN means net shear area. So that means gross shear is failed by yielding in the first case. So uh, that is shear yielding. In the second case, they put ultimate stress that means it will up ultimate means it will go up to rupture they use the shear term avn so that is uh, shear rupture this failure is shear rupture so the failure is involving the shear tension okay yielding and rupture combining all these four they formed the two equations In the first equation they use the shear and yield. So, shear yielding ATN that involves the net tension area in the second equation see the second term ATG cross tension area ok. So, the I conclude that in the first equation they used the AVG into FY that is shear yielding. So, tension rupture ATN and FU coming to the second equation AVN and FU shear rupture ATG into FY tension yielding ok. Here what are the terms are unknown here sir we do not know the value of AVG sir AVN sir ATG sir ATN once we know all these values we can easily substitute in this equation find the TDP value sir ok fine. So, how we have to calculate the AVG, AVN and all they have clearly mentioned in the figure see this connection the plate connections they have joined the two plates applying the tensile force the failure path is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the part of the as a block it fails at the ends it involves shear in the lines 1, 2 and 3, 4 which portion is which line is having tension 2, 3 see 2, 3 is perpendicular to the applied tensile force. So, tension is having in the line 2, 3 ok. So, here we are having 2 shear lines 1 yield lines both is are both are perpendicular to each other if you see this figure 17 b at the angles the failure path is from the edge to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to edge 
okay at the end it fails as a block okay which line is having shear if you apply a tensile force between the gusset and the angle the line 1 2 and edge up to edge is having having shear the line 2 3 and up to edge is having tension because it is perpendicular to the application of tensile force okay by using this logic we have to find out the shear line and tension line then calculating the shear area will be very easy the length of the shear line into thickness length into thickness gives area obviously similarly for tension also we having the tension is formed along the line 2 to 3 3 to edge means the total length into thickness give the tension area sir they are having grass as well as net sir grass means you can use the full length of the line net means you can deduct the length for the holes involved in between the lines holes involved in between the lines ok this is the logic now we will continue the problem ok first we will so in this case we are having the shear in the two lines ok tension in the perpendicular line ok so how we can calculate the length of the shear line ls we are having two shear line i will calculate for one line that involves one end distance and one pitch here the pitch provided is here the pitch they have marked is 60 both pitch and gauge all are 60 60 plus 35 give the length of the shear line length of the shear line ok 35 plus 60 y 2 sir we are having two shear lines are one at the top other at the bottom so the total length is 190 into thickness of the plate thickness of the plate given in the problem is 12 mm therefore 190 into 12 give the avg now we got the shear a gross shear area how we can get the net shear area we can we have two shear lines you can consider the top shear line alone in that we already calculated 35 plus 60 that involved how many uh, holes are encountered in that shear line sir one full hole is there sir and also one half hole is there in the top shear line so 1.5 times diameter of the hole can be reduced in the shear line to obtain the net shear length net shear length i am uh, termed as small ls therefore capital ls minus 1.5 times diameter of the hole is 18 1.5 is hole diameter involved in the path so sir we are having two shear lines are one at the top other at the bottom so that's why i put two so finally i got that ls is 136 mm how we can get the area length into thickness again thickness of the member is 12 so length of the shear line is this is the net shear line that's why i put small l for grass i have used capital l okay small l the difference between capital ls and small ls is i have detected only the diameter of the hole encountered in that sh failure line okay so avn is 1632 mm square avg avn then coming to the atg and atn atg is the gross tension area atn is the net tension area how gross tension area length of the tension line into thickness which one is having tension here sir if we apply a tensile force between the gusset and this plate we will have a the distance in between these two, you know, two holes at the end that is it will be clear in this figure that is Kaj marked as 60 that will be that line having tension that line is perpendicular to the applied force that will fails by tension. So that gap between this two bolt is marked as 60 mm ok. So that in that 
it is very clear length is 60, thickness is tall, the area is 720 mm square. Then how we can get the net tension area? Oh, in between that how many holes are there? Sir, top at the top uh, we have a 0 0.5 sir, at the bottom again we have a 0 0.5 sir, totally we have to detect one diameter of the hole in the uh, tension line of 60 mm. So, 60 minus one di hole diameter, one hole if is 0.5 at the top, 0.5 at the bottom. So, 60 minus 18 that is the net length, tension length into thickness got the net tension area. Okay, once we get the, is all these values, you can substitute in that TDP1 equation. TDP1 equation. TDP1 equation is what is TDP1 equation? AVG. AVG. What is the AVG? 2 to 8 0. AVG 2 to if FY. AVG is 2 to 8 0. AVG 2 to 8 0. FY 250 root 3 gamma 1 1.1. Then 0.9 into phi naught 4. What is that second term there? ATN. ATN value is ATG 720. ATN is phi naught 4. Okay. Phi naught 4. You can again check if this value 60 minus 18 whole into thickness uh, 12 will give the phi naught 4. Then ultimate tensile is 410, 1.25. We got the value as 447.953 kN. By same way, we have to substitute all the values in the TDP2 also. TDP2 equation is TDP2. 0.90 AVN, AVN already we calculated 1632. ATG already we calculated 720. 720, I have used 720. See, 720, 1632. See, I substituted all the values in this equation TDP2 0.9 1632 410 is ultimate tensile strength 250 is yield strength gamma 1.1 gamma m not 1.25 gamma m1 substituting all the values I got the values 441.784 kilo Newton. So, TD is least of design tensile strength of the member is least of TDG, TDN, TDP1, TDP2 that will be 332.985 kilo Newton, 332.985 kilo Newton. 